Hey guys, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you five tips on how you can fix your Roku device remote not pairing or not connecting to your Roku. Let's go ahead and jump into the video right now. The first tip I have for you is doing a completely hard reset of your Roku device by taking it and unplugging it from the wall and waiting about 30 seconds and then plugging it back in. Sometimes this will fix some of the pairing issues that you are having and everything should be connected and working after this. The second tip I have for you is taking your Roku remote and taking out the batteries. And sometimes when you take out the batteries of these Roku remotes, and put them back in, they will automatically start pairing with any uh, available devices that are close to it. So go ahead, take out the batteries and place them back in. And along with the, the first step where you unplug the Roku device from the wall outlet, this will resolve most of the issues that you're having with this device, just with the first and second step. And also, if you look at the back of the remote and open up the battery compartment, you will see there may be a button on the back of your remote and there might be a, like a little LED light there also if you go ahead and press this button by the battery compartment for approximately five seconds this will start putting your remote into pairing mode and it will start looking for available Roku devices near it so go ahead and press that button if you have it my Roku stick Premier remote does not have this however some more um, advanced Roku devices should have this feature and you'll know it's starting to look for pairing um, devices available when the LED light starts flash so go ahead and try this third step I have for you that you can try is to get the Roku app on your Android phone to get the Android app it's very easy just go to the Play Store and then type in Roku once you type in Roku you will be able to install it from there and uh, when you open up the application, you'll have uh, a couple different menu options. If you go to remote though, you can actually control your device just from there. And I wanna make a quick mention that you will need Wi-Fi enabled to go ahead and connect your Android phone to your Roku device. So make sure Wi-Fi is turned on on your phone. And this will allow you to actually use your Android phone as a remote. And some of the features on here are actually really good. They have the voice commands on there, they have a keyboard, and you can also plug in your headphones to your phone and get the audio from any kind of television shows or maybe even a YouTube video that you're watching. So the phone app, you can control it and you get some of the advanced features that you would on the more advanced Roku devices just on your phone. And this will help out when we go over to step four. And step four is to go into the settings options. To pair a new remote with your Roku device, scroll up to settings. Go over to remote and devices. Go to pair a new device. Go to remote. Go over to the right. And under here, it will ask you to put the batteries in your remote and press and hold the pairing button for five seconds. If you do not have a pairing button, just take out the batteries and put them back in and it should start pairing automatically with your Roku device. And from here you can put your Roku device into pairing mode where it's going to search for any device that's available to it. And this is good if you're starting up with a new remote that you just bought off of Amazon.com. You can actually put your Roku device and your Roku remote into pairing mode and they should sync up. And that brings us to step five. What if everything I just did doesn't work? All right, I, I got the app on my phone, I'm still using it and it's working right now, but I would like an actual remote. Well, you can go onto amazon.com and there's cheap options on Amazon, really. Uh, you can find mini remotes for about eight to 10 bucks that have more basic features, some of them a little bit more advanced, but uh, depending on the features you want with a remote, they can go up to 20, 30 bucks. And just be careful when you're on Amazon.com and reading the descriptions is very important. Some of the remotes on there you may want to buy won't work with your device. So read the description and make sure the remote you're buying is compatible with the Roku device you own. If this video helped you out, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel down below. And check out some of the other videos coming up on my channel next on Your Six Studios.